Hello and welcome back to part two of Greedfall. Um, I've come back here and it doesn't look like I'm in the same place, but I have looked at my quest and it says that I've informed the coin guard barracks quartermaster. So it must be kind of, I must have gone outside before I turned it off, I guess. I don't really remember. And it says I'm still in the same halfway through level one. So I must have just come out here. So where do we need to go now? Find a way to move the cargo. Or we can go and find the smuggler. Okay, we're going to find the smuggler. So we need to go this way. Yes, I'm finding it hard to see the circle because it's behind my webcam. It's locked. Okay, it's locked. <laughs> How do we get out of this place? Where even are we? I'm not even sure where I am. Oh, this is the place. There's that guy then. Okay. So I must have just gone out into the garden. <laughs> Alright, smuggler. Okay, sorry about that. What happened? <laughs> there was, um, I accidentally had um, my headset, well, my whole sound was coming out of my computer rather than my headset, so I'm sorry if that sounded a bit weird in the introduction. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, so I have to quickly reload it because for some reason it doesn't register in the game until I turn the game off. So we're going to find the smuggler. He looks like they're over here. There he is. Is that the smuggler? Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the time. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Uh, some children we'd be Sorry. best to refuse. Captain Vasco! And you are. Leave Bailey alone. I'm de Sarde, the prince's niece. Sorry. All is in order. We will soon be embarking on your boat. Ship. Not a boat. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Sorry about that. So the fancy schmancy pirate dude has lost his cabin boy. When did you see him for the last time? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Acquaintances in Serene? Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Who are his close friends? This Jonas. Does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavia and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Ask about the heretic. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. 
long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. We're looking for a smuggler. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Keep on saying much or talk to him openly. I kind of like him. I'm going to talk to him openly. A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Yes, because she's so got happens, beautiful eyes. I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They're making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Nords have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. Also help on the merchandise. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 3D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is going to have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbour master's office. <laughs> I just said that in front of this dude. Can ask about the noughts. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Pirates. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your Might magic. Might just tell them that they're pirates. How do you become a nought? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the noughts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a nought from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the noughts for different reasons. Often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Tier for D, is that the place we're going then? Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tier for D? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming. That will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. Oh, one moment. <laughs> okay, dog issues again. I gave her a big lamb bone, so she should be completely distracted now. Okay, the port of Serene. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. What is the Malachor? Does they say something about, is that the, um, the disease? 
I'm pretty sure the Malachor is the disease. Ask that constant. You haven't heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. I like the captain. Be back He's soon, got Captain. Beautiful eyes. We need to have a word <laughs> with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Okay, so we've got two missing people to find. Investigate the disappearance of the cabin boy. Let's go and look for the cabin boy. Perhaps we'll discover some useful information. Maybe. Flavia, she's one of his friends, isn't she? Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? They've all got funky tattoos on their faces, these pirates. <laughs> like the captain. Ask about Captain Vasco or ask about Cabin Boy. When was the last time you saw him? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. Ask about his habitual comings and goings. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Ask about his friends. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Does he have any enemies? Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him. As you guessed, but they're nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Near the canal. Maybe he is by the canal then. Ask about Captain Vasco. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator and an excellent leader of she men. Likes him too. He knows his craft well, <laughs> in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. You can get followers in this. I hope he's a follower. The pirate dude, I like him. <laughs> Smuggler's Journal. I have two clients. They want to go to Al Saad and the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto the ship inconspicuously, but we'll have to be cautious and I hope that they will prove patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbour office, where the Inquisitors will never dare to enter. That's a bit weird. Can you go in the sailor's coat? Ooh. Mm. 
me out, it's better than mine. <laughs> What? I've just disguised myself as a knot. Ah, this must be a knot coat. Now I'm like a pirate. I like that. <laughs> okay, why not? It's going to get this way. Really, to disguise myself as a knot, I should paint my face. <laughs> Loads of random tattoos. One. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Mm. Is that right? You're talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. I do have all of that stuff at the bottom of my face. Maybe they think that's a tatty. He's got the same tattoo as that woman. That's Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me, but my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Ask about the cabin boy's state of mind. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Ask about the kidnapping. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle <laughs> boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> You think my story is nothing but miss too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Mm. As about Captain Vasco. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass known again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Ah, thank you, Larry. Poor captain. I need to be going. Strange story this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Okay. So we've got to talk to a witness now. Completing quests in Greedfall, a quest can usually be completed in several different ways. Desade has more than one string to his bow, or her bow actually. <laughs> Cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating items from the crafting table will be some of the means available to you to reach your goals. To improve these areas, spend points in the corresponding talent tree, or where equi equipment that offers bonuses. Threats and combat are also options when your enemies are not receptive to your talents. That's pretty cool. So there's like loads of ways to complete each quest. 
cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating items from the crafting table, threat and combat. <laughs> All right. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Ask him about the cabin boy. Ask him about the kidnapping. I am looking for a naught. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A naught, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping? In my establishment? You surely jest. Well, at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Speak about the witness. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Ask about Constantine. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come oh, to reimburse me. Don't Naughty count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Okay, but repair. We need repair the damage caused by Constantine metal dials for Constantine's a little bit of a troublemaker. Her, huh? what do you have to say about this? Green blood. Do you need something? I like the way he seems so shocked that I'm here. Like we're walking around. I must here. leave you. Ah, <laughs> oh, that must be the gambler. I thought the gambler never gave up his table. He's not even sat at a table, he's drunk out of his mind. And it looks like Who he's got you? plague as well. I don't recognise you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. <laughs> this guy's I'm looking anything. for a naught that disappeared two days ago, after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Ask about the cabin. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing that, I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Ask what happened, Jim. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins. If you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. I'll ask more information on the rich man. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A money lender? No, my lady. You're in luck. It so happens that I know the man. Ooh. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulane Embassy. Thank you. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This that man woman. is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. 
But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? But that woman said she thought she heard him, didn't she? Um, coins. There's coins everywhere. That um, woman said she thought she heard him. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. <laughs> it looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like this. Um. Yeah, she could hear, apparently, couldn't she? Like, she thought she heard his voice by the canal, and they said that man was by the canal. Lock picking. We can lock pick. Yes. I'm so glad we got lock picking now. Metal dowels. We've only got two though, we still need two more. Ah, oh, there's lock picking Locked. too. That's a shame. <laughs> Let's come back when we level up. Two more metal dowels. So we've got enough metal dowels. I'm gonna search the rest of the place first. A lot of loot around. <laughs> What's this? And key this key. We've got two keys now. Lock picking level one. Yeah. Sword. I can't use a sword, can I? I can only use like a big heavy hammer. I kind of would like to use a sword. It's a shame I can't have sword on one hand and magic on the other. Well, at least we figured out how to swap weapons now. I can't remember which way we came from. It must have been that way. No, we came from the stairs actually. Letter from an alchemist from Al Saad. Dear Arif, I'm genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the Academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments. And there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some, some place where you will be at peace your friend. Hmm. Not much in here. No, I'm sure that letter's important somehow. I see something shiny down here. It could have just been the sun though. We've been in this one I think. Yeah, we've been in here. Okay. Come on, Kirk. Or Kurt. Is it Kurt or Kirk? I can never remember. Kurt. Kirk. Okay, we can fix, fix this. And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. They? It's just like one little table. That guy exaggerates a lot. I'm going to continue looting shit out of this place before we carry on. Money. Move. <laughs> oh, what's this place? Very fancy. Not much in here, though. I think it's like a brothel, you know. <laughs> Something in here that's going down that's a bit dodgy, if you ask me. Right. Let's go and uh, 
tell him we fixed just one table, not half of his furniture. Well then, were you able to repair it all? Yes, just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. Apparently so. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any oh. case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever <laughs> mess he's got himself <laughs> into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? His business. How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malikor and the neighboring wars and dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Yeah, we said to my mother we were going to find a cure, didn't we? Has the Malakor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People are still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. The city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. Tifredi. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tifredi. Right. Gonna get there one day. That my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say the man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some naughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the port. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. Junior, you know, I would apologise if I take ages to get to Tier Freddy, but I'm just like, um, I need to be like to do everything in a game. <laughs> so it's going to be a slow process. I'll probably be playing this for months, honestly. Right. <laughs> so we know where to find both of these people, kind of. I mean, we know sort of. We've got some nice clues. So, we want to come and find and confront the kidnappers. 